Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today is getting really hot because a sleeping giant is awake. Yes, Germany. I want to introduce a little bit more the German crypto market so that you guys understand what's really coming up. We have Eri from Japan. We have Susie from Australia. They're doing a wonderful job. And we have several YouTubers from US. They're doing also a great job. And I took my time today or I will take my time today to introduce you a little bit more in the German market so that you understand what's really going on and what is coming in soon. You have to understand the connection because Europe is very close connected. Germany is close to Brussels. Who is in Brussels? Swift. So don't underestimate the market. I try to explain it and I hope you guys have fun today. Let's start with the Reisebank. The Reisebank is the daughter company of the German Central Bank with a revenue of 99 million with 552 employees with 93 branches. It's not pretty big, but to start XRP, to testing XRP and Ripple, I think that's a pretty good start and riskless. You have to understand this is the reason why they're going this way. And if this will be successful, I'm pretty sure the German Central Bank will adopt it. And this is much bigger picture. So let's go to the German Central Bank. The German Central Bank is actually my favorite bank. It's the second largest bank in Germany with over 1,000 corporate rating banks with 12,000 branches with a total asset of 506 billion euro. That's amazing. If this kicks in, if the Riser Bank is successful in their testing with XRP, then this will be a real giant asset for us. This will be a giant boost for XRP and surely also for the Ripple Lab. So you see how important it is to get the feed in in the European speciality in the German mark. Don't forget the German Germany is the locomotion of Europe. If Germany adopts something, then you can be sure that entire Europe will adopt XRP or XRP soon. This will be a big step forward for us. But honestly, guys, this was not the reason why I want to make the video today, because this is actually the reason, the big boy, the German bank. The German bank is the biggest bank in Germany. The German bank, the Deutsche Bank. This is the big boy in Germany, because this bank plays in a totally different category has investors. They're doing a lot of investments for years. This bank alone has an asset for $1.475 trillion. They have almost, almost 100,000 employees. This is giant. This bank is a pure investor bank. It's very famous. But this bank is also very traditional. And they're not in yet. They're waiting. They're on holding. I read some article in German. Too bad in German language so I cannot post it will probably not help you guys. The point is they're still skeptic but I think the skeptic is just a show skeptic. They want to see what's going on with the testing of the Riser Bank. Then they want to see if the central bank will adopt it and if this works well I am pretty pretty sure that the Deutsche Bank, the German Bank will be the next one on board. Can you imagine how big this will be? This will be a giant giant asset for us for XRP and for Ripple. Now you know and I hope you understand and see why it's so important to get the European or specialty the German market on board, the German banks, because they're trustworthy. They're trusting them. Everybody trusting them. And they now, if they're, they're jumping in with Ripple XRP, then we are fine. Then I believe the entire world will jump in because Germany, they have a good name. Then now they will not do goofy or phony stuff. They just will work with companies together. They really can produce. They really reliable. They are fast because this is the way how we are in Germany. This is how we was born. We was born and raised to work and doing our best. If you don't do your best, they're always mad. <laughs> I was laughing because I had some experience, but this is not the topic for today. I hope you understand the German market a little bit and I hope I impressed myself well. It works in my home country where I come from, but Germany, it's a very special country. This is in Europe and everybody's always looking to us when we adopt something almost entire Europe I wouldn't say maybe the entire world this is maybe a little bit too much but I would say in Europe they're looking up to us and when Germany adopts something speciality in the banking system but come on be honest XRP Ripple this is a giant product this is a giant company they're doing a great job XRP is a utility I mean why shouldn't they take it they just want to be sure that it's not just any crypto asset or any but guys look what Ripple up what they're producing what they're throwing on 
the market. It's a giant company. I'm really looking forward for them and I'm pretty sure that Germany will adopt it maybe faster as maybe even US. If they find something and if they're tested, in Germany it's like this, we're testing and testing. We over testing. But if it tests and it's good, we will adopt it. It's the same like when we're producing car. We're producing car, Porsche, Mercedes, BMW. These cars, guys, get endless tested before they're releasing them on the market because they're famous for reliable products and they want to give you a good product for your hard earning money. And they don't want to release junk. They don't want to give you some crap for $100,000. They won't give you quality. This is the reason why it's get tested in, in winter time, extreme winter condition, extreme heat condition, so that they can be sure wherever you live in the country and whoever will buy those cars, that you get a good, reliable car what is uh, tested for the hardest condition. And the banks will for sure doing the same. They will test XRP, Ripple for the hardest condition. They will, they will have no doubt. They will, they will kick their ass so much they can just to find out if this company is reliable. Is their product good? Can we work with this? Is this, is this, can this confirm, can it confirm this is what we want? Can it, can it produce what we requiring? Because they have a very high standard on requiring and they really want that they're going through this, that this works regardless and with no problems. This is just the way how it is. So guys, I hope you had a little bit fun and I hope I see you by my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye and have a wonderful and great day.